For over a year now, Elizabeth has been producing biomass logs for a living. A mixture of waste paper, water and dead leaves shaped in a wooden press, they're an effective fuel for fires. She used to gather wood for turning into charcoal, but this proved to be a dangerous business. We went to the park to find wood to sell, but it was really unsafe there. We were attacked and raped by militia men. But when we learned that there was this new coal, we started making it. We no longer need to go into the forests or the park. The forests of Virunga National Park are also home to the famous mountain gorillas. The development of biomass logs could help to preserve the habitat of this endangered species by providing an alternative to deforestation. We must still try to protect this environment. That's why we implemented this new technology, in order to meet the energy needs of the community. The logs sell for $7 a bag, three times cheaper than charcoal. They also burn well, but perhaps rather too well for some customers. Food should be cooked in an hour, but I have to stay here and keep an eye on it. The logs go out really quickly and you have to keep adding more. But with the charcoal, you can leave it and come back to find your beans are cooked. Despite this drawback, the Congolese Institute for Nature Conservation hopes to convince everyone in North Kivu province to abandon charcoal and adopt this greener alternative. They're hoping by 2013 there will be 46 tonnes of biomass produced every month, fueling a boost to the local economy as well as the environment.